real versus synthetic. Um, we get this question both Professor Benson and I asked of us all the time. Oh, we don't have access to the, to the leachate at the site. Can you work with our old analytical data? Well, I, I just got done saying, don't use the old analytical data, get the current state leachate to build for the future state, and then keep that process rolling forward every build. Grab the newest stuff because the site's changing. What we've learned over the years um, is that synthetic just doesn't mimic it. One, it's really hard to do because these concentrations are getting so high, those ionic strengths are really up there that it's very difficult to build these uh, synthetic leachates. And two, we leave things out like suspended solids that we can't model. So if you have to do it, there's, there's some software available on the web, the, the Mentika um, software through the EPA, and then the Geochemist Workbench uh, has a whole bunch of fantastic software that hopefully is available uh, within your firm. Uh, but if, if in, a, in the real world, if it did work, everything would plot on that one-to-one -one line, that 45 line, in, in that slide. Now, effective stress, confining pressure that we place on our sample. Just like in traditional soil mechanics, if we, the more stress we apply, the smaller that void ratio gets, the less flow paths we have through our, our soil sample. That applies to, to GCLs and it certainly applies as well to uh, polymer modified GCLs.